my dear students so far we studied uh, the composition type of uh, uh, topics in the first part uh, there are six lessons and later we studied uh, in the poetry section uh, eight poems and uh, now we uh, are going to study uh, the four lessons which are uh, supplementary reading uh, type of uh, lessons these lessons are meant to be read by the students themselves and uh, the students should uh, study on their own but i would like to give you an uh, introduction type of uh, assistance about these uh, lessons and uh, let's uh, have a look at these uh, supplementary reading uh, lessons first one is narayanpura incident supplementary reading points characters and uh, these uh, pictures i will explain uh, later after uh, having a look at this uh, story and uh, this incident takes place uh, during uh, 1942 uh, mahatma gandhi ji gave a call to the british to quit india in uh, august 1942 different kind of agitations and strikes and hartals and movements take place all over india in narayanpura a small village also a different kind of agitation takes place against british uh, in this village a school teacher was arrested by british people uh, in order to fight against this arrest and in order to give a notice to the british to quit india his elder son mohan and his friends arrange a different kind of agitation against uh, british people this this uh, school teacher had three children uh, mohan he is uh, 18 years old babu he is uh, 13 years old and manju she is 11 years old and uh, other college friends of uh, mohan and uh, this family members have a different way of uh, fighting against the british people mohan and his friends arrange a march against the british people the purpose of this march was to serve a notice to the british collector this march was arranged in such a way that this is completely silent though the march was surrounded by the police no arrest uh, takes place Uh, because of the efforts of these uh, these uh, students there were no um, irritating slogans uh, there were uh, no fightings there was no violence it was so silent agitation that's why police could do nothing uh, they went and they serve a notice to british collector and simply they came back but for babu and manju uh, this was a kind of uh, disappointment because they had expected something else from this march they might be expecting uh, violence clash and lati charge something like that but mohan explains to babu and manju that they have decided to do the march in this way because they hadn't wanted to be arrested by the british people as they had a lot of things in the coming days uh now on the same day after the dinner suman uh came with a boy and that boy had a strange box on his uh, shoulder and that in that strange box there was cyclostyling machine and they have planned to make copies of mahatma gandhi's speech using that cyclostyling machine and uh, everything was uh, fine and they had kept that uh, cyclostyling machine uh, in the puja room so that uh, nobody doubts and uh, at the same time they have made uh, some other arrangements also uh, they had uh, appointed the babu uh, to watch over the movements of the people outside so that uh, he was uh, sitting in the uh front room and uh, he was uh, keeping an eye on the people's uh, movement and manju was sitting in the hall so that she can pass the message uh from uh, babu uh, to the people who are making uh, copies of uh, mahatma gandhi ji 
this kind of arrangement was done and uh, the work was in progress a person on a motorbike comes and uh, stops right in front of the gate babu was very alert finally he was thinking that he is doing something and he is uh, staging his own kind of protest against the british people a person on motorbike came and uh, he stopped right in front of the gate of uh, uh, mohan's house but th that person has uh, come only to light his cigarette and he went away uh, after some times a real police inspector came there uh, babu passed the message and everything in the house was silent and all of them uh, closed their work and they simply went and slept there was a knock on the door and the police inspector uh, came inside and uh, he began uh, telling to amma that uh, he was a dunce and he and uh, the school teacher were childhood friends the school teacher was uh, very brilliant and uh, this police inspector used to take help from him in notes and everything and so many times the school teacher helped him uh from uh, being beaten by the teachers with his uh, help and these all stories he began to tell to amma i and uh, your husband were uh, best friends uh, so on he went on telling and he also told to them that there is cycle styling machine in their house and uh, the british police have suspected that they are making the copies of mahatma gandhi's speech he asks amma to give that cyclo styling machine to him so that he he would uh, take that away and uh, he would uh, give it back uh, when uh, everything is all right amma believed him because though he was working under uh, british people he was a uh, loyal uh, to india he was a patriot and uh, he has concern about his own people and mohan was little bit angry and he didn't believe this uh, police inspector and he was angry with uh, amma also for believing uh, this uh, police officer and uh, finally everybody believed this uh, police sub inspector and they gave that uh, cyclo styling machine uh, to the sub inspector and he took it and went away uh, everything was fine now everybody went and slept in their respective rooms finally the real british police officers came and they knocked the door but this time they are all relieved because of the help of the police sub inspector who had come earlier and now there was a search and they searched and they couldn't find anything and they went back if the cyclo styling machine was found in their house all the family members would have been arrested and they had to face the consequences uh, this was all the story of this narayan pura incident here in this story we can find that even common people staged uh, their own kind of protests against the british people it is the united effort that uh, ultimately drew away the british people from the soil of india here you can see the points of uh, narayan pura incident this this is uh, this story takes place around uh, 1942 uh, quit india movement and a teacher who was a follower of gandhi ji was arrested the silent march mohan and his friends have arranged that uh, march so silently cyclo styling machine and this machine also has a major role to play in this uh, story Uh, making copies of gandhi's speech and uh, using that cyclo styling machine mohan and his friends have planned to make copies of mahatma gandhi's speech inspector patil friend uh, this is the person who rescued them from a very dangerous situation and british inspector sentry then the real inspectors uh, entered and they searched for the cyclo styling machine and they went without any clue of that uh, cyclo styling machine here in this story we find all these characters school teacher mohan babu manju suman amma inspector patil and these are some of the incidents that i have tried to draw the pictures of and here you can see 
the silent march mohan and his friends have arranged here they have held uh, mahatma gandhi's uh, picture in their hands and they have also held uh, the tricolors here in this picture you can see suman coming with a boy with a cycle styling machine and at last here you can see inspector patil he is convincing the family members so that they should uh, give him uh, the cycle styling machine and uh, he rescued them all from uh, the coming dangerous uh, situation uh, this is what the story of uh, narayan pura incident now let's have a look at the two marks questions and answers of this lesson two marks questions and answers short answer what can we learn from the lesson narayanapura incidents there are certain things to learn from narayanapura incident what are those this question has appeared in september 2020 board examination we learn many values from the lesson narayanapura incident the lesson narayanapura incident has many values to offer uh they are patriotism we should have love for our country presence of mind we should have total control over the situation dedication we should do something with uh, utmost priority organization skills how to organize the incidents respect for our country and the freedom fighters our freedom fighters have sacrificed a lot and our country has given shelter to us we should have respect for that these are certain values we learn from this lesson the student leaders managed the protest to go peacefully why we see that the protest was very peaceful what is the reason for that this question has appeared in june 2020 board examination the police expected the protest to be violent the expectation of british police was different they were expecting that these students will go violent if the students had done so they would have beaten them up and hauled them to jail the british police had a plan they were expecting that these uh, students will be violent so that they would uh, punish them they would beat them up and they would drag them and they would put them into the jail the students were not ready to go to jail but the students were very alert and very shrewd minded people and they had managed the protest to be peaceful they were not ready to go to jail they wanted to give much more trouble therefore the protest was peaceful and it was uh, too early for them to go to jail that's why uh, they were uh, th they had a lot of things to do uh, and they had no plans to go to jail that's why the protest was so peaceful what do you think is the writer of the narayanpura incident trying to impress upon the reader here the writer of the narayanpura incident want to communicate to reader something what's that the writer may be trying to impress upon the readers how different people staged protest against the british in their own ways and methods the writer may be trying to communicate with the readers how the different kinds of people uh, police inspector the school teacher the student leaders there are innumerable people how all of them protested against the british people in their own ways and methods the student leaders protested silently the protest of the student leaders were it was uh, so silent but the sub inspector patil he was doing his own service to the country in his own way by helping the protesters we see the helping nature of sub inspector and he took the cycle styling machine away and uh, helped the protesters the school teacher had also protested peacefully we can uh, see the protest of the school teacher also his protest was so silent Uh, these are not the only three questions some more questions and answers are also there uh, let's have a look at those questions and answers uh, also on this uh, lesson uh, so far we studied uh, three questions about uh, the same lesson narayanpura incident two marks questions and uh, answers short answer type 
Now let us uh, start studying uh, from the fourth question of the same lesson. Why had the students been marching? How was it an unusual march? The students were marching. What is the reason for that? And uh, that march was somewhat different. Uh, how it was different? The students had been marching to serve a notice to the British collector to quit India or to face the consequences. The reason for the march of the students was that they had a notice and that notice they wanted to give to the British collector asking the British people to quit India or otherwise they have to face the consequences or the struggles. It was an unusual march because the students were marching silently. The march was totally different. Why? Because the march was very silent. There were no irritating uh, slogans, there were no clashes, there were no, there, there was not violence, nothing like that. Babu and Manju were a bit disappointed with the way students been marching. What was the reason? Babu and Manju, the small children of uh, that uh, family, were uh, disappointed. What was the reason for the disappointment? Of the reason for the disappointment of Babu and Manju was that the marching was silent. It is because the silent march they were disappointed. Uh, they might have expected clashes between the police and the protesters. They might have been expecting a kind of a clash, a kind of struggle, a kind of a fight or violence uh, between the protesters and the British. The protest was silent. That might have been the reason for their disappointment. What was there in the mysterious parcel? What was what suspicion did the police have about that? And uh, there was a mysterious parcel. And what was there in that mysterious parcel? The British had some uh, suspicion about uh, that uh, mysterious parcel. What was that suspicion? There was a cyclo styling machine in the mysterious parcel. The police suspected that the protesters were going to make copies of speech of Mahatma Gandhi and distribute that in the town. Uh, in the mysterious parcel that was brought by the boy who came with uh, Suman, uh, in that uh, mysterious parcel there was cyclo styling machine. The British suspected that the protesters were going to make the copies of uh, Mahatma Gandhi's speech and uh, they were going to distribute that speech, that copies of speech among the people in the town. Uh, here we have studied uh, six uh, questions and answers. Now one more question is there, seventh question. Let us have a look at that question also. So far we studied uh, six questions uh, from the lesson Narayana Pura incident, this is the seventh question and the last question as well. Why had Patil, the sub-inspector, come there? Who believed him? What was the result? Uh, Patil, the sub-inspector, had uh, come to Mohan's house. Why he had come? And uh, who believed that sub-inspector? And what's the result of his uh, coming? Answer, the PSI Mr. Patil had come there to help them. The reason behind uh, the coming of uh, PSI to the house of Mohan was that he wanted to help the family. Uh, he took the cyclo styling machine from them so that they must not be caught by the British police. And the cyclo styling machine uh, with which uh, the family members were uh, making the copies of Mahatma Gandhi's and on that cyclo styling machine, the British uh, police had set an eye. So, that cyclo styling machine, uh, police inspector took and went. So, that these protesters must not be caught by the British uh, police. Amma believed him. The PSI was a stranger and uh, only Amma believed him at the beginning. The result was that there was a search warrant from the British for the cyclostyling machine. The British had suspected that these people 
people had kept cyclo styling machine in their home and they were making the copies of Mahatma Gandhi's that is why they had issued a search warrant for that if Mr. Patil had not taken and gone the machine they would have been caught by the British the result would have been very dangerous if uh, Mr. Patil had not taken and gone that machine all the family members would have been arrested by the British police because of keeping that machine in their house uh, this is what all about the lesson Narayanpura incident uh, now let's uh, have a look at the second lesson that is on top of the world